I think there is one keyword named as final. So what final keyword does? A uh, new class. So if final keyword you can use with all the three things like class, method, and variables. Now I'll tell you what changes when you use final keyword with any of these things. Okay. So suppose you have class C one, hmm? and you have class C two. Two classes you have. Now in class one, you have one variable int age equals to ten. Okay. In class two, you have int whatever number two equals to twenty. Now in class one, you have mean method. In class two, you have mean method okay now see in class 1 whatever age i had if i'll make it final if i'll add final keyword uh, in front of it though it is by default public so public it will look like public final int okay so initially we used to write it like this without final keyword so what we were able to do there see if I create the object of class one, C one OBJ one equals to new C C one, okay, and OBJ one dot age equals to C, and here also in main. Now see this, guys. Just because you added a final keyword in front of it, okay, in front of your variable declaration where you assigned some value to it. So in front of this age variable, if you add this final keyword, it will make this variable kind of um, uh, a, fi a final value. You cannot change it further, okay. Because you are stating it that the age value will be now forever, it will be 10 only. Okay. No, no one can change it. You cannot even change it to 96 here in your class, which is C1. Neither can you change it in um, C2. See, I'm trying to change it and it is giving me error. That remove final modifier if you if you're trying to change the value of it. You guys understanding it? Yeah. Uh, Ati, you mentioned mm -hmm. like c1 here in this mm. class mm. and there also you, you use c1 object mm, because in c2 class i'm trying to get something from c1 class this but is how we, we didn't use it. the extend keyword or both of these are possible either you call it like this or you create a i don't want to create a relationship between them right so i directly calling it so see this Oh. This is also possible, but I'm not trying to make them parent and child of each other. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this is for uh, exceptional handling or? No, nothing. Exception handling is done yesterday. This is for final keyword. Why people use final keyword? People will ask you what is the difference between final and finally. So yesterday okay. we saw finally, right? Finally block. Okay. Yeah. Correct. Today we are seeing how people use final keyword yesterday we saw this keyword also super keyword also so there is one more mm -hmm. keyword which is final so how can you use final keyword okay so final keyword is like wherever you will add final that means that value is like finalized for it neither in your class nor in any other class you can change its value okay so neither in c1 see here also it is not allowed and here also it is not allowed. I'm not able to change the age value, which was 10 in any of the classes. Getting it? Yes, getting so it. Why we need to write two programs here, two classes? Because I wanted to show you that in other class also, you cannot do it. 
so now if i'll show you only by this class you will be like rt we can change it in another, another class in this class it is not allowed so we'll try uh, creating relationship between two classes or we'll create the object of this class in c2 and then there we'll try to access it access it but this is what i want to show you you cannot i mean like in this class also in that class also you know where you can change the value of a final keyword sorry final variable but here okay in c1 class you mentioned public final in age equal to 10 hmm. and in c2 hmm. you didn't but, mention the final here num num2 equal to 20 yeah in c2 hmm. so can we change c2 class uh, no problem. one second one second take take it an example of uh, take it as an example of suppose movie okay or suppose your roll number you are trying to your, your 10th standard roll number okay you got one roll number which is 10 in your 10th standard or oh, for the final exam you got your roll number as 10 now either you are in your city india or in australia from anywhere if you will try to access your 10th class website with your roll number you cannot change anything to your roll number neither from another class nor from your current city not from australia neither from india you cannot change it it's, it is finalized this is final number nobody can change it that's why I show two classes in in two classes we use the age uh, hmm. age what's hmm. the age it's a into type yeah it's a into type see here, here i declared it no i age key age uh, what what we call the age variable variable yeah yeah so that's why we can't change in hmm. two classes hmm. if there is many classes so we can't change anywhere anywhere if there is c3 c4 yes. and there is an age variable so we can't change because yes, we are using final correct anywhere if anyone will try to access this thing from this class they will get it as a finalized value itself nobody can change its value you getting my point you cannot change it in your class also you cannot any other class can also see if i'll remove final keyword from here now see the difference here okay i removed final keyword i'll save it the moment yeah. i saved it see error is gone from here error is gone from your class c1 because it is not final thing it, that means it is not a final value for this integer. Anyone can come and change it. There is no final value kind of a thing for uh, your age. So today you are saying 10, tomorrow you will say 96. Everything is allowed because it is not final value for age. Final means kind of like done with this number. After this, they, there cannot be any other number for age. So age equals to 10 is a final. So here it will give error. If it is not final, it will not give error. It will try to assign a new value to it. Okay, in the same way, here also if you'll see, error is gone. The moment you remove final, anyone, anywhere can change its value. Its value is not finalized. Its value is not fixed. No. Hmm. What error? Like, can you put the final keyword? I didn't observe that. See, the moment you put final here, wherever you will try to change its value from 10 to 96 or from 20 to 70, you will start getting error and the error here yeah. is c remove the, the final, final modifier of each final modifier of each so because your compiler un uh, understood this that you are trying to modify the value if you are trying to modify the value that means you don't want its value to be final so how to get rid of the error remove it because you are going against the rule the rule says no, i want to use the final keyword and if you change the value to 10 at the hmm. object one dot uh, you cannot <laughs> that's what i'm saying that's that's a rule of java that if something is final you cannot change it that's a no, rule. i'm not asking you to change you mentioned hmm. object one dot age equal to 96 right hmm. instead of 96 can you put 10 you put anything you cannot reassign it you cannot put you cannot use the assignment operator with it see this thing you cannot do why? Because we are using same value. No, Java change. does not allow it. Java for Java, it is like you are trying to change the value. 
Java does not know what you are doing, but then when he sees this compiler sees this equals to annotation, that means you are trying to assign a new value for it. That's oh. not allowed in Java. You getting my point? It is kind of you are trying to override the value of a final thing where this is final. You are trying to override it. So that's not allowed, even if it is exact same value. Once the value decided, decided. Final. Guys, um, uh, Akila and Sandhya, are you guys getting it? Yeah, but in the class, we can change? Like, nowhere. see one dot object. No, nowhere. No, neither here nor here. In another class, you are in C2. In C2 also, you cannot change. In your own class also, you cannot change. You then can if you remove public change. final, then... How now you can do start? anything. Because when you declare... See, error gone here also, here also. Because mm -hmm. you are not com making it a compulsion for someone to use the same value for each by removing final. Anyone can change the value and they can use it. Anyone can change the value and you can use it. Yeah. Okay. But how the compiler will know, like, if you remove the final, then how we uh, consider, like, you can't change? Because we, we haven't mentioned anywhere, right, the uh, final keyword? No, we mentioned here, no? I just removed it, see? Then, okay, no error? Okay. Yeah. No, the moment you will make it final, you will start getting error because you are trying to change the variable value and that variable is kind of fine. Okay, I don't know what you guys are not understanding. One second, let me give you a simple example here. Uh, let me think. Mm. I understand, Aarti, but mm -hmm. my, my concern like... Hmm. Because we are using same value, so how does compiler doesn't know it's 10? Because at the final no. keyboard, we gave 10. See, once you and assigned we... it with final, this assignment operator, you cannot use again with that variable. This is how compiler reads your code. It does not see you assign 10 or 70 or 80 or whatever. It will just see that you are trying to assign something again. Okay, and without assigning, you... can you... Uh, can you show me an example without assigning the value? So mm -hmm. object one dot h. This thing? Yeah. And yeah, this thing you can use. See, directly you cannot keep it, right? You know this, right? Directly yeah. accessing the variable, variable, you cannot keep it. So just print it. Print, yeah. Yeah, in print, if you write this, it will not give you an error here. See. Okay. When you assign something, we can't yeah. do that. See. Okay. It is not giving you any error. Do whatever you want to do with this number. We can but use, but we can't assign anything. You cannot assign it. Yes, the value is fixed for this variable now. With final, oh. the value is fixed. You cannot change its value. Do whatever you want to do with this value. That is okay. You can write some equals to 10 plus obj or I'll write int sum. Int sum equals to obj1 dot h. h. Okay, do whatever you want to do. No yeah. questions there. But okay. don't try to change the value of it. Yeah. Okay. Don't use assignment operator with it. That's the okay. only concern. Okay. What if neither in your class nor in any other class? Don't do this. I mean, like you can, but you will get an error. This is what how this is how Java reads your code. So it, see, it is asking you to remove final. The moment you'll remove final now, everywhere error is gone. See. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. We can remove the final or we can remove the assignment operator. Exactly. Both the yeah. things you cannot do together. No, yeah. okay. No, got it. Yep. Okay. Now, and, this was. And I hmm. got one more question here. Hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. Because before I never know that we, hmm. if we use the same variable in four or five classes, so it will be the same or. No, no. Why here, I can... remove the final right now mm. can you remove the final yep now the here ages you mentioned 70 in, in c2 and mm. here 10 mm. so can we change in another class that will change the value for this class i mean if someone is okay. saying artist salary is $50, okay? Yeah. They are saying it 
they, that value will be with them it's not going to change my value my actual value will be like they are saying artist salary is 70 they can yeah. keep saying it they can keep using it because you are in another class yeah, but okay. in my class it, it is not changing the value okay this thing only happens when you are trying to change a static variable class. static okay. variable static. because when they say static it is only one memory gets allocated to it so kind of a common garden if they will try to change the value to 70 of course it will hamper the same because same garden is there so if you keep it dirty it will impact me also yeah if it is non-static then yeah if it is not static then you like you exist my salary okay either you could have directly used it or you can change it and use it but whatever change you have made that is for you it is not impacting my actual age yeah okay yeah okay now understood still still doubt uh, the hmm. good good <laughs> you said static it's... now i have confusion between that's them. why i say practice practice i don't yeah. even think so that you guys even remember the concept of static what was static this is this is uh, what happens. No, you explained about the card and something before. Mm, exactly. <laughs> so, so do you remember that the yeah. actual value was getting impacted because we don't create object with that? If remember? static means everyone will affect, uh, you said. Yes, because there is only one copy of it. You are not creating yeah. individual copy of your separate separate garden. You are not creating it. You you are you live in one area. Everyone of that area uses the same garden and that's why if anyone will make that garden dirty everyone will get impacted of that area so static, static works in that way that you don't have to create your individual object to access like in this way what i have done i created object one here i created object one here for same class why can't i just call the class and i can say that i will not create any object you directly give me age here here also i can do c Aarti, why you created like C1, C2 if you're not accessing anything from C1 or like... I'm accessing you know, age. No... Age I accessed from C1 to C2, no? Okay. Very cool name, I see. Hmm. Okay. So, to access it in the main also, you need object. To access it, in, access it in different class also, you need object. That is the importance of object. Okay. Yeah. So, I'll okay. go through the... Let's go through the concepts. This is what happens because with time, the topics are going to be even tough. So make sure your last topics are kind of clear in your head. Okay. So otherwise you will get confused. What, why two classes? What is constructor? I, I think so. You guys don't even remember constructor, types of constructor, use of it. Yeah. Right. That's... So please, please practice. Okay. Do you still have doubt? Uh, so we have space for constructor. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no doubt. Any other doubts? No. No? Okay. So till we saw it with variable declaration, right? Between two yeah. classes. I mean final keyword. So final keyword we saw with the... So here I'll get error. This is expected error. Okay. So let me comment it. Now, what if... I'll use final keyword with a method now. Okay, till now we were using it with variable. Now, what if I have addition method? Oh, method. So public void add in this method, I'm trying to ex uh, do in sum equals to not sum uh, total equals to 10 plus 20 and return. Total. Okay, and you are returning, so you have to change it to int. Okay, now see, this is public kind of a method, so anyone can access it. It is accessible, like if it is kind of a public toilet, anyone can come and use it, right? It is accessibility of this method is anywhere, not only to this class, anyone can use it. If I'll make it private, even if you will try to create object dot, you will not be able to use it. Okay, give me a minute.
Now see, if I in class two try to access this method, okay, I'll say okay from C one object one. This is C one object one. Okay, object one. I'm trying to access add. Now you are able to access add. Okay, no issues here, no error. Correct. But the moment I will write final here. Yeah. Okay. It is not stopping you to access that method. You can access it because it is public. You can access it. Accessibility is not getting stopped here. But if you will try to override it, the final keyword is something which does not allow you to modify the value, either yeah. of a, a method or uh, of yeah. a variable. Correct. So in case of variable, if you say final, that means you you cannot update the value of it. But in case of method, when you say that it is final, you are declaring that you cannot override or overwrite the implementation of a method. So when can you have that implementation? When you have a, a relationship between class, then only you have a right to access it, right? So. Sorry, here. If C one extends. C two extends C one. Now, just because they are parent child, now this C two is a child. So, being a child, if this child try to access add and try to override it, that means one second. Okay. Give me a minute. So how you override a method? You create a same method name in the same, I mean, like in parent also in child also. That is the concept of polymorphism, right? Remember, mm -hmm. parent child yeah. both having same method name. So suppose in child class, parent also wanted, uh, parent also know, parent class also uh, was aware about how to do the addition. Child class also know they have their own trick and yeah. Uh, yeah. rules to do the addition. So suppose being a child, public. Int add again. You created the same method, and here you are writing int total of all equals to new. Sorry, total of all equals to new. Ten yeah. plus suppose hundred, whatever, and you will be returning it. Return um total of sum total of all correct. Now see, the code is correct. It automatically took this override keyword also. I haven't written it. Why it yep. took over it? Because there is a relationship between them, and you are trying to override the method which your parent was already aware of. But you are saying, okay, whatever my parent was using for addition, that technique was old, so I'll override it. Being a yep. child, being a, being a smart person now, I'll override it. But see, you are getting error yep. because of final. Once the rules are set for addition in your parent class, you cannot change the rule for it. See, yep. remove the final modifier. So in case of variable, you cannot change the value. In case of method, you cannot change the implementation. You cannot override it. Okay. Now, and one second. Mm -hmm. So before hmm. we cannot change the value if uh, for, for variable. The variable. variable for yes. the for the method, we hmm. cannot implement. That means you cannot change the value of method. So what what do you mean by change of value of method? Override. You change the implementation of method, right? You cannot change the value of a method. There is no value of a method. But what can you change about a method? You can change the implementation of it. Correct. But just because the method name was same in both the classes, and you are saying you gonna change the value, that means you are overriding it. This is a concept of polymorphism. Same class method name in two different classes. Where it is a relationship, you are modifying it. That means you are overriding it. Yeah. So you cannot, you cannot do that to a final method. You cannot override. You cannot implement that polymorphism concept here with a final method. If you remove the final, now you can do whatever you want. See you. Error gone. It's okay, right? Being your parent they have some other car driving skills you also have some other driving skills 
that is all absolutely okay but being a parent if parent says no everyone in my family in later generation also they will drive it in same way you are you are not allowed to have your own technique so what will be the output if it is like final is there c1 or c2 output uh, which i mean if you run this like you, you can't cannot, change right you yeah. cannot with error you cannot execute it with fan, final you cannot keep any method like this in a, another class where the name is same your compiler will get confused that here you are saying well you should be final no one can change this uh, way of uh, driving skills now your child is doing so so what should i do i'm confused parent is saying something child is saying something what should i do yeah. so my compiler yeah. is confused here so my compiler is like either if you don't override it or if you want to override then remove the final this is the error okay I'm getting it yep sure uh at before mm. uh in the in the variable uh, mm. i ask you to show mm. how to use it you used using print and object edge mm. so we use that so how mm. can we use here final we are using parent final keyword uh mm. for the method so yes, if i want to like use in child in child right so you have object yeah. one right so with yeah. object one i used add okay yeah yeah add method yeah. but this add method you used it here directly so accessing like accessing is not yeah. giving you issue overriding it is giving you issue So you can change the uh, method name instead of add. Can mm -hmm. you put adds or something? So suppose you are writing add two in child. Two. So now yeah. this is not overridden, right? One second. So see, if I remove this override keyword from here, I am not going to get any error because now for my compiler, add and add two is two different methods. This belongs to child class. This belongs to parent class. So child yeah. can have their own method. What is the issue there? No issue. Sure, sure. Hmm. We don't. We can't create the method same method in child. Exactly. Class. No. No. In same class, you cannot create. Of course, right? In same class, if I write add and add two times, that is not possible, right? Yeah. That is not possible. How my compiler or my agent? If I'll say, um, okay. Uh, suppose car suppose car and car okay if i i have a serv servant okay i have one servant i told him that go and uh, bring the car out which car he will bring out he's kind of confused in parking lot there are two cars so which car yeah. so that kind of confusion happens so either you change the name make it red car and blue car okay so my you know so when will totally understand that okay he is asking for blue or red so this is allowed but i cannot create a confusion for my compiler that okay car and car that is not allowed maybe the internal implementation is different but from outside it looks like a car only right so my servant will be confused there a same thing happens when you create a same method in different class also like in child class for example you asked your servant to bring the car now your child car is also there in the parking your car is also there in the parking parents car is also in the parking now which car again a confusion so this is also not allowed mm -hmm. so what to remove this confusion what you can do is you can add override here override means there are three cars but this is totally different from this one okay now see this this is the concept of overriding oh, yeah. that this was a concept of overloading if i have two car one car takes petrol no parameters exactly change the parameter type now these two cars are different so if someone will say bring the car which takes petrol as a input he will bring this one if you just say car it will bring this one so i somehow just by changing the variable type or by changing the variable name i changed the i made them different from each other so no confusion i have to remove that con confusion for my uh, compiler getting my point so this is overloading polymorphism concept guys practice this is overloading this is overwriting 
when you have a relationship between two classes then when you try to access or write same method name in two classes that is over writing clear yeah and this thing you cannot do when you have a final Fine. this thing you cannot do you can access you can access obj1 car whatever yeah accessing is not a issue but overriding is a issue when you work with a see accessing is not giving you any issue i am trying to access the car without any parameter it will take this one if i will access car with some string value uh, suppose whatever petrol abc it will access this one okay it will access this one see it is getting highlighted now accessing is not a issue issue is either you don't override it okay so see this one is oh, taking string petrol right car over it so if i make this final it will start giving me error see you clear yeah guys everyone clear about this variable and yeah. method yeah yeah okay now if you understood what is the difference like how we stop the usage or modification of any variable by just keeping final in front of it and saying with the method if you are not if it does, does not allow anyone to override it okay with the final the same thing happens with the class now if you see okay let me remove it now or let me comment it now okay now see this with class if someone will use final then what will happen now you see um, you started getting error here yeah when you use final with a class nobody can extend it because you 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 say okay this is a final class nobody should be able to access it because after accessing they going to modify something right so i will not allow anyone to even if i am public nobody should be able to create a relationship between them i mean like between me and that new class so you cannot extend it this extend is a issue when you create a class as final so now see all the error gone so the moment you make final class you cannot extend it so this is a rule of java you stop having or you stop all the other classes to create relationship between this with with this class simple now one thing uh, hmm. so we can't use the extend the class Hmm. Right. If we hmm. used a uh, final keyboard, hmm. but what about the variable? Because we are using same variable in both classes. Hmm. Does it affect or? Does no, it, it will not affect. Like you cannot extend it. You cannot create relationship. But you can create object. Object creation is not an issue. Okay. You can create object. You can use variable. You can use method. Whatever you want to do. But you can use it in this way. Not by creating the relationship between child and parent relationship between two classes. I'm getting it. So it's just for relationship. Exactly because related. yeah, because That's you don't it. want the child to access your method just because it's your child. Yep. Follow the entire process and use it. That's okay. But just because you are a child, you cannot write that child object dot, and you are able to access your parent car also, and your mother's cars also, your grandfather's cars also. That that is that is what we are stopping here. by making it uh, final so we can't access yeah mean? yeah that means i'll i'll give you an example here okay just because your parent had blue car they had red car also okay and being a child okay now it is giving error mm This is final. This is final. This is. Well, I'm not able to access it. One second. No, oh, I remove this one also. Give me a minute. Minute, okay. Now suppose your parent. This is parent now, C one, and this is C two is child. Correct. Yeah. Now suppose your parent had a truck. Okay, or ship maybe public, void. okay but what they are saying here is they are keeping it public this ship is accessible to your child or anyone if they'll ask okay they can 
go and take this ship but without their permission without their acknowledgement like your your parents acknowledgement you cannot use it but what was happening when you were creating the relationship between that your child was behaving as a boss and he was like i am a child of them i can access whatever my parent have whether it is ship car truck whatever everything of my parent is mine that privilege you were getting by creating the relationship between you and your parent correct so now if you see if i remove final from here you are able to do this extends c1 and you are easily able to use obj1 dot ship yeah. correct you were easily yeah. able to use this but the moment your parent said no my child will also not be able to access it without my permission without my acknowledgement till now just because you had a relationship between me and you you were accessing without even my knowledge you were accessing everything of mine without telling me just because you are my child now i made it final now you cannot access ship let's see again now if i remove this relationship between them because it does not allow right yeah yeah so the moment i made final you can use it like this with uh, object so the moment you will create the object i'll get to know the moment you will no, you, use the object i'll get to know mm -hmm. you mentioned before we can't use it right you can it is public right you can use it but you cannot extend i mean like you cannot create a relationship between me now this time when you are using it you are not using with the right of being my son or being my child you are using it as a different entity like you are a different person for me now you are not my child so if you are using it you are using it with object and oh, okay just if under the ship if we give some any like in total some yeah, values mm -hmm. so then we can we change that variable like guys uh, don't get confused here the only concept here is you cannot create relationship between two classes when once it is final okay your parent finalize this thing that we are final like we are we are done with everything we are a individual entity we don't want to create any further relationship with anyone so we are declaring ourselves as final we'll purchase our own ho house we'll live there we don't want any kind of relationship we are done with it okay so don't try and extend and become our child unnecessarily we don't want that so if you want to use my ship pay for it call my object and then use it don't tell me that you're going to use my ship for free just because you are a child so that mm -hmm. kind of restriction you created here because of final you are able to use ship but this time you are not using it as a child you have to pay for it so how you going to pay i'm mean, like i'm just creating a story here but you are using object okay but earlier what was happening even if see uh, one second Aarti, i understand this topic mm -hmm. but my question one question like so what's the like you mentioned we can't extend because we can't give all permissions mm -hmm. chain because mm -hmm. we can't extend mm -hmm. but we are using object and we simply using everything right so what's the difference just the that one the extends we can't use mm -hmm. because Uh, why? What is the concept of extend, uh, Pravin? That using the child object, you can create access parent also, grandparent also, and everything. You don't create your parent object. One second, let me show you the clear difference here. Just because you haven't practiced, you don't remember the concept of this. Now see this. This is parent. This is child. This time I'll not create parent object. This time I'll create child object. C two, OBG two. equals to new c2 now in any ways am i connected to c1 no right no. i am in c2 i created c2 object okay yeah. so when i'll write obj2 dot what should i have i only i can have c2. num2 yes num i mean like only c2 variables correct yeah so num2 i have at the same time i have obj2 dot add two also i have because they both belongs yeah. to me okay yeah. the num2 you are not having right now because uh, like you cannot keep it like this you have to put some value hmm. now if i'll create relationship between these two if i'll say 
extends c1 okay the moment i created relationship with my parent now see no, no, what no, you no have no question stop stop here sorry mm -hmm. aarti no, can you okay. remove the extend c1 hmm so can you use uh, object 1 here uh, yeah there next line object 1 yeah. then i one. have to one second i commented it then okay oh, now this we... is object 1 so now if you want object 1 dot you can access it why why can't you access it this is okay the, we need to add the one line creating object line hmm of course and then right. i can see it hmm so yeah we, so we can access everything in c1 yes in c2. yes but so, with the help hmm. with the help of object 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 1 yes yeah but if I remove this. Yeah. Yes, if I remove this, and if I create extends, extends C one. Now, if you see, I haven't created C one object. Suppose yeah. okay? I commented it, but still, if I am accessing obj two dot ship, still I am getting it because I am a child. I am not, and just because I haven't created object, my parent will never get to know that I am using their ship because I am using it with my object. There is no. we that my parent class will get to know about this oh. just because i am a object i am a child i am directly accessing it i have that privilege okay I... this is what i want to stop i want that if i make it final i should not be no one should be my child anymore and if no one is my child anymore they will not be able to access the ship directly and that's why they have to create a object and the moment they will create my object i will get notified and if i'll get notified i'll ask for money i'll not give it for free okay okay yeah this oh, is how i'm restricting exactly so yeah the moment you will create your class object like parent class object your parent will get to know about this so parent yeah. is done with giving you that ship for free they'll charge you for this yeah okay get my point so Just so final class you cannot extend it final variable you cannot modify it yeah and final method you cannot override it yeah okay now look at this screen guys and tell me what which concept you are not understanding now i am good this one is clear for me yeah. all good now Yeah. Always remember, final and finally is different. Two different concepts. Finally is with try catch block. Yeah. Yeah. Finally is something that will that will take place at any cost, or uh, at the end of the um, uh, all the execution. That is like compulsory post condition. But this is a final keyword. You are restricting something to get modified either in your class or in any other class. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. with this we just left with the protected keyword and that i'll cover in two minutes and there are very uh, low chances that you will be using final keyword but still you should be aware of that that's why i taught you normally i don't teach that topic but then it's okay sometimes you should learn something new now public specifiers okay uh not public specifier Access specifier. Okay, in access specifier, suppose I have two classes again, new class, so C one, new class, C two, main, main. Okay, now see this, right? in c1 if you have int variable or that is int page number equals to 100 okay it is public in nature by default that's yeah. why you were able to access it in your class in c1 so c how to access it c1 which one equals to new C one, 
you can easily access it obj1 dot page number you can directly access it and change the value also because it is public in nature in the same way in another class also you can directly access it so suppose in c2 also i created the same object object one or let's say object two okay and you are able to access the page number no issues here also just because it's a public now suppose i create private variable private um, book number equals to 10 now this book number is <clears throat> now this book number is kind of private that means you it is private to you by you i mean c1 so anywhere in c1 you can easily use it so if you see you will write obj one dot book number you can easily use it okay and change its value but the same thing you cannot do same thing you cannot do in page two sorry class two obj dot if you see book you're not getting it because it is private in nature getting it you are no, not getting that option obj1 obj1 also we don't get right no because no, obj1 no. is in this class obj in this class you create a different object so you cannot you understanding it yeah yeah, yeah? so you cannot because this is private even if, yeah. mm -hmm. if we use obj1 in here in class 2 like mm -hmm. when when you create c1 object 2 if i create object 1 doesn't matter it's just a name is same but internally it's a different object altogether oh, okay. because it is in different class so they this class. neighbor class created their own object too they have their own vehicle to access your yeah variables so it is different even yeah. though the name is same it is different because it is in your class i mean like neighbor class it is not in your class so when you write obj1 dot book you are not getting it why because it is yeah. private in nature you cannot get it that is expected now let's see what is protected okay suppose you have protect protected int shop number equals to 76 okay this is protected in nature so what is the meaning of protected now if you see this is c2 class now if you write book number not accessible private page number not accessible one second guys one second what i created c2 oh okay c2 yeah. object i created no yeah. hmm. so obviously those things will not be accessible now look at this guys public and private you understood now i'm creating a relationship between these things now you see what all is accessible to you okay extends c1 okay the moment you create a relationship between these two okay and being a child class object now being a child what all you can access object two being a child class what you can access you can access page number because it is fair public no it's Oh, page number is public. Okay. Similarly, if you write obj2 dot book number, you still can't access it. It is kind of your um, house documents which your parent haven't showed you where, where in all places they have flats. They don't want to show you that. So they kept it private. So being a child also, you cannot see that. You don't know how much your parent uh, property is. Yeah. That is hidden from you. So that means 
private cannot access cannot be accessed by child as well yeah okay now no protected now i'll write obj2 dot shop number shop number that means protected variable can be accessed even though it is protected can be accessed only wherever you have relationship of child and parent okay now shop number equals to 500 that means if i remove this relation now i am able to access this shop number but if i'll remove the relationship between them so you are getting error error yeah because you are no more a child so protected thing you cannot see but being a but why this one is giving error page number because oh, uh, because i was trying private. to access, yeah yeah no no not private but because i was trying to access it using obj2 so you are creating a object of a child class right using child class object how can you access a parent unless you are connected with them getting my point yep So if I'll access it using OBJ one, then I'll not get any error. But I'm trying to access it with OBJ two. That means being the, now I'm a child. That's why I'm able to access it. The moment I remove this relationship, I cannot. Yeah. Yeah. But just because I'm a child to them, they're protected and private. So private is not. I mean, like public is accessible to all. Protected is accessible only to child. Only yeah. to child. Public is. H I L D. Public is accessible to all. Private is not even accessible to child. Yeah. Getting it? Yep. Okay. So this was the concept that I wanted to teach you. That five minute concept. A protected thing only accessible till child classes. Public accessible to all the classes. Private not accessible to anyone outside that class. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so these are called as access specifier. Final is also access specifier, but then it does not stop you from accessing anything. It just makes sure that you will not be able to modify it. So what we call access specifier. Yes, all access specifier. You are available. exactly okay. yes. Access specifier, access modifier, all the things are same. You are trying to uh, um, decide the accessing capability of that variable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, hmm. Ah, uh, I'm not noting down all. <laughs> all so topic. private means uh, cannot access child. Even child cannot access yes. private. Yes. It is like your parents' property. They are hidden it. They don't even want your. And also, property. and also. No one, not even child. No, 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 one no can. one. It is known to your father. It is with your father. Father haven't told this to anyone. It no, is private to your no father. No relation. No. no. Mm -hmm. If there is no relation, like mm -hmm. parent child, mm -hmm. so no, no one can access. No one and no one outside object. that class. Yes, no one. Only public thing can be accessible to any neighbor houses. Also, it is kind of a public vehicle. It is with you. I mean, like it is in your garden, but it is kind of public. Anyone can come to your garden and use it. Public. Yeah. Yeah. Private. Private to you. Nobody can use it except your dad. Your dad does not even allow anyone to touch that car. Even if you are a child to your parent, he does not allow you to touch that car. It is private to him. By creating object, we can't use. Yes. It. But mm -hmm. protected child can use. Child it. can use. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So see Should how many done? topic. Yeah. Yes. Finally. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. No, actually, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-three topics, guys. So yeah. I don't know when you guys gonna oh practice it, but. Let's see.
pick any website just check the syllabus of java so we are done with comments we know variables data types type casting is nothing that is like when we'll do java that time we'll understand it it is like how to change the int number into string that's a simple one line of yeah, code yeah. you have to write okay. operator uh, equals to less than greater than whatever strings booleans and everything is not needed don't worry if and else you know okay while no for no switch is not useful that much i'll show you this uh, within two minutes it's, it's not at all useful okay so while is done for is done switch 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 i'll show you but switch we, we will rarely use rarely very rarely it is yeah, yeah. it is We're like done with that, I think. no i think switch i haven't i ne never teach switch i don't know i never used okay. it yeah, yeah. So I, use, I wrote this program you wrote it <laughs> okay yeah. i don't yeah. normally teach this switch you don't want to use it ever even if you have to use it it's nothing two line of code okay so okay let's note it down what all i have to teach you let's see switch and strings done boolean the type casting right that's again a while for break and continue want to learn okay these are the extra topics okay you're not going to use it but still just because we want to give one two days extra for your practice so and is done methods done parameter overloading scope you understand wherever curly block ends for this curly bracket this is a scope this much yeah. so that's a scope mm. recursion recursion is function calling itself again and again so recursion that means in addition again you are calling addition again addition again addition same thing till one condition get dissatisfied so recursion i'll teach you because we have time so class objects class methods constructors modifiers i just taught you encapsulation i taught you api is nothing ignore it packages you know why we create packages in, in java inheritance polymorphism inner classes no need no need you see Uh, if you remember yesterday we created class 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 in the same class in the yeah. same way in class itself you can again create class so that is inner class so why it is useful see uh, it is possible to nest the classes that means classes inside classes now why people use it uh, there is a reason behind it but you're not going to use it ever so don't worry about this abstraction interface done anums uh <laughs> and um if you want to read this let me see i'll also understand this anum is like your predefined sorry your defined variable for example if you see okay let it be keep anum aside i noted it down i'll teach you that user input you know how to take a user input remember scanner how to take yeah. number from user yeah. Minute, array list link list hash map hash set not needed but still let's see if we have time we'll do this hash map you remember hash map yeah. hm equals to hash map that yeah, array setting yeah iterator i haven't taught you iterator okay iterator is something interesting but this is a concept that i will be teaching you in selenium but it's okay iterator i teach you it in java now so that time you will remember it uh, wrapper classes Mm. not going to use it ever but still okay exception you know yeah now yeah okay now um now regex regex is guys regular expression ever heard about this before no no pattern matching like you are creating a certain kind of rule you are saying okay mm, these things you will be using in selenium but still let me show you suppose it's like you have a, a a bucket of all the clothes and from that bucket you are sorting out all the clothes which is of blue color and which which looks like a um, suppose a dress not as a pant or a shirt so you set the rules you told someone that okay check everything is blue 
and looks like a dress then sort it out so it is matching that concept with or those rules with your all the all the clothes and then one by one all the clothes which is matching with those rules will get sorted out <laughs> this is what they are doing here that abc okay no like this so these are the way how can you create your rules so if you say slash s that means anywhere anything will have a white space character will get accepted anywhere which is you will be sending data like suppose you are saying sending ab 100 so if number is there it will accept it <laughs> so you are just creating a pattern here so that is nothing but regex so it's okay i can teach you this but it is not important let me see how can i teach you this that's um mm -mm, said i cannot teach you like this this is for those people who, who are java developers right yeah, mm. I remember this. Well, I mean, college. Hmm. Multi-threading. Yeah. Multi-threading concept, but we never gonna use it. These are for those people who are like Java developers. They code in Java. For yeah. those people, okay. Lambda is also not important. Ignore it. File handling. This concept will come in Selenium, but just because I have opened it now, I'll teach you this here. File handling. I told you yesterday that one is different. This one is different. Which one? file yeah. handling no that yeah. was just two lines of code right we were not we were just showing you that that file is not present that was an exception but what if file is present and from that file you want to read the data how to read the data from a file all these are big course over it i mean topic over it so normally <coughs> i teach that in selenium because in selenium we read the uh, credentials from a file okay yeah. so okay Create, read, write, read files not needed. In file, everything will get handled. How to add two numbers, you know. Java keywords, you know, final keyword, public, static, all these are keywords. So if you see, abstract keyword we learned. Boolean, break, I noted it down. Um, character, you know. String, you know. Catch, we learned. Uh, case is like switch, I haven't taught you, right? So with switch, you will see case also. Um, constant, not needed. Do you know, do and while, right? Else, you know, and I'll be teaching you. Extends, you know, finally, you know, finally, you know. Float, you know, double and float. Um, for, you know, for loop, if, you know, implements. Implements is with interface. Import is like, import you directly import it. So you never, you might not have ever seen this. But if you see. Import now, Q. Okay, here it is not showing because you are not using anything, but import is like a kind of a library when you use, right? Don't worry about import. I'll tell you. You will understand it automatically. We used it before. Somewhere? Uh, for the uh, one time. For the example. Okay, I'll show you. It gives the input in the console. Okay, I'll show you that. Okay. Now, if you see the most important keywords we already learned, super, static, this, throw, throws, try, void while volatile is not needed whatever is not highlighted right sorry underlined right these things no need of learning those things you're not going to use it ever so keywords are also done after keywords if you see string methods we saw that character at index at value at whatever equals to ends with starts with contains concatenate all these things i taught you in the starting and then we are done. These are just examples. So if you see this entire course, I have completed, guys. So now it's on you how you're gonna practice it. What was the quiz there? What's the? The quiz in the bottom. I don't know. Some Java quiz. Who wants to give it a try? What is the correct syntax of output? What is the first, correct syntax of output? First one. dot print dot out. Java is short for. JavaScript? Script. No. Java is different. JavaScript is different language. How do you insert comments in Java? Double slash. Double double code. Double, double, slash. double slash. Single line, double slash, multiple line, star, slash, and star. Which yeah. data type is used to create a table that should store text? text. So string. string. So actually capital S, not small S. Yeah. How do you create a variable with numeric value 5? In text. Correct. How do you create a variable with floating number 2.8? Float x. 2.5f, correct. Okay. 
which method can be used to find the length of a string length correct correct the operator is used to add together two values and and add for add plus plus or add plus, plus. The value of a string variable can be surrounded by single quotes. No, string positive. variable should be single or character should be single. Character in single. Okay. Yeah, string should be in double. Character in single quotes. Which method can be used to return a string in uppercase letter? Two Up, uppercase. uppercase. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. I think first method both. Okay, we'll see. Which yeah. operator? I think one was in small letter. Same thing. Small letters, one. Yeah. yeah, I think we. Okay, let's check. Which operator can be used to compare two values? Comparison double and assignment. Double. Exactly. Comparison is double equals to assignment is single equals to. To declare an array with array, which bracket comes? I told you this with method circular one. with array square. Yeah, this is how Java Java understands it. Okay. Zero. Zero. Array index starts from zero, but array length mm. starts from one. But yeah, array yeah. index starts from zero. How do you create a method in Java? Method name. Yeah, method name and circular bracket. Okay, so make sure. How do you call a method in Java? What? How do you call a method in Java? Of course, first one. Method name and circular hmm. parentheses. Which keyword is used to create a class in Java? Which keyword is used to create a class? A class. Okay. Brackets. Not brackets. Of course not. Bracket comes with function. This is keyword. They are talking about keyword. You you write public class and then class name. Yeah. So class. So which is the correct way to create an object? New, new object. object name and uh, new mm -hmm. object. object. Oh, and class new. name. Class object. my class equal new my. Okay. Correct. Object. Yeah, like, uh, so your object this and new class. So this is a constructor, non-parameterized constructor. This is the correct yeah. answer. In Java, it is possible to inherit attributes and methods. Inherit attributes and methods from one class to another. Yes, why not? Yes, Inheritance yeah. concept. Which method can we use to find the highest value of x and y? Oh, we haven't learned math, right? So in math, we have a by default method to find the maximum. So that method is max only, max, this one. So ignore this one. Which operator is used to multiply numbers? Star. Which keyword is used to import a package from Java API library? Import, import, import mm. keyword. Yeah. Okay. How do you start writing an if and else in Java? Uh, yeah, if bracket, yeah. Bracket, always in bracket, okay. With if always everything will be in bracket. How do you start writing a while loop in Java? Let's check it and tell Curly. me. Curly. While loop. Uh, my last one. Okay, correct. Which keyword is used to return a value inside a method? Return. Hmm. Which statement is used to stop a loop? Oh, guys, I haven't taught you this, so it is break, okay? Mm, 100%. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. So guys, start doing these kind of mock questions. You will you'll have confidence. Okay? Mm. Cool. So let's see uh, what I can teach you. How much time do you guys have now? Half an hour? One hour? No, 20 minutes. Oh, 20 minutes? Okay, let's quickly okay. learn something. Um... And can you stop recording and do it again because it's a new topic if you tell. Okay, but I could have sent it with today's date no? and our video. Yeah. Like instead of sending two videos, I'll send it. Good, but sometimes we can, if we need any doubt, it's difficult to search in it. Okay, one second then. Timing and those things.